Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Nick Nickum In this presentation we are going to focus on exchange traded funds or ETFs that can make money for you during a market crash during a market crash it is possible lot of your assets may be tied up in like Dow Jones S&P or tech sector stocks which you cannot easily liquidate but you can hedge those uh, downward movement of the stocks by using ETFs and i'm going to show you exactly what kind of ETFs you need to select and how frequently they trade so that you become an intelligent uh, investor in times of ma market crash where the bears are in full force so let us begin here is a a, a complex chart of short ultra short etfs or exchange traded funds they can match diamonds spiders or triple q's one per one in the opposite direction if the stock is going down the etfs goes up let's say you have a 30% investment in the tech industry and you are concerned that it is entering a bear market you can take one third of your cash and invest in a nasdaq related uh, one to one relationship uh, etf like psq and recover some of your loss you can actually recover more than your loss by using 2 to 1 2x or 3x that is every time a price drops 1% in nasdaq your etf price goes up 2% or 3% so that's the leverage that you get with these exchange traded funds which go in the opposite direction opposite direction of a stock market when it is crashing so if you are in a situation when the stock market is crashing then you invest in these ultra and ultra short etfs so you you recover most of your loss if not everything and similarly we have 2x plus plus 3x here yeah, similarly we have plus 2x and plus 3x but i'm not going to focus on that one in this presentation i'm going to primarily focus on these uh, minus 1x minus 2x minus 3x the given index so i'm focusing mostly on index you can find this for stocks for bonds for currency for financials for healthcare any type you just go to any market site and type ultra ultra short then you will see a listing of all these uh, exchange traded funds that go up during a market uh, down keeping this in background let's look at some of these things how do we evaluate which one do we want to pick and how much do we want to invest let's say you have 100000 in nasdaq related stocks like triple q and you think the stock market may go down 15% this year If that is the case you need to hedge using a nasdaq uh, either minus 3 times minus 2 times or equal percent per percent using these symbols the beauty of etfs is that they can be traded like stocks most of them have zero commission for all practical purposes Number two, unlike uh, options, they have no time decay. Number three, there are a lot of advantages to using these uh, ETFs, uh, which I'm going to highlight in a minute. Well, let's focus on if you are invested like 50% in Dow-related stocks, then you can take a Dow-related uh, sh uh, ultra short or short uh, ETF to hedge against. a dramatic drop in your dow related stocks during a bear market there is also one for mid cap and russell but uh, the most important thing we want to make sure is when we select one of these uh, vehicles to recover some of the losses the most important one thing we need to keep in mind is the volume i'm going to stress on that again in a minute of course there are alternatives to using etfs you can put everything in cash cash is king if you got a million dollars now 6 months from now when the market drops 50% you would still have 
a million dollars and look at how much advantage you have to invest that million dollars when the market uh, turns up. You can also sell covered calls. If you have access to your account for your stocks and you can't sell those stocks for any reason, you can sell covered calls, which I covered in another video. You can watch that on covered calls. You can also buy puts, but there are a lot of disadvantages to buying puts even though you make money, but uh, I will explain what are the disadvantages are. Or you can buy something that goes, some, that goes up during a market crash, namely the bonds or treasury bills. As the treasury bills have already been going up, for example, a 10-year treasury has gone up from 0.5 to 1.76. And in the meantime, the NASDAQ had dropped like 12%. See, you can see the dichotomy between the treasury bills and the NASDAQ heavy tech stocks. You can dupe, buy these which can duplicate the percentage of drop in a stock or a entity by 1x, 2, minus 2x or minus 3x. Then you have to decide how much you want to invest. And let's get back to some of the advantages of these ETFs. First of all, it is like a stock. There's no time decay that is associated with a call or a put. But if you are selling calls, the time advantage works on your side. Whereas if you buy the puts, you are losing the time decay. These ETFs follow the market trend. If the NASDAQ goes down, it goes up. If the NASDAQ goes up, it goes down. And it's going to follow the same zigzag pattern, just as we see during a bull market. The other advantage is you can get in and out of these ETFs any time. You can trade them after hours. The beauty is uh, you can just get in multiple times during a day. You can trade, day trade these things to recover some of your costs if you have the time and if you have the uh, ability to reach these uh, charts and see where you get in and where you get out or lock in your profit. And now let's talk about some real facts. For S&P, one time symbol is SH. And the second most important thing you want to watch when you select these uh, ETFs is the volume. Some of them have like 100 million shares. I'm going to show you which one it is. And some of them have like 50,000 shares. So you want to pick something that has a, a large volume, like anywhere from 7 to 10 million shares. And also you want the price to be a little bit higher so that you have some room to get in and out. Because if the price is like $10, it takes a long time for it to move. As a result, it, you have to see substantial change in the primary index before you see a change here. Okay, for NASDAQ, one minus is PSQ, and for Dow, it is DOG, and here are the volumes. Like S&P, this is a good one to select. That's why I collect, made it green color, and this is 7.8 million shares. And these are the current prices as of March 2021. And these are kind of very low volumes. So I would kind of stay away from these because, uh, I mean, if you have stocks in like Russell 2000 or Midcap 400 Group, you can consider this. But I would just use the main three main hedging modalities. If you have financials or healthcare, there are ultra short and short uh, ETFs for those two. You just have to search for them. Okay. And here now we have minus 2x and minus 3x. Like S&P, SDS, like if the S&P goes down 1%, the SDS goes up 2%. And the stock price is like $11.22, but 17 million shares is traded in a day. So that's a good volume where you can trade and get in and out easily. Same thing three times SPXU for S&P 500 and 8 million shares. Then look at the SQQ, the most heavily traded ETFs on NASDAQ. And this is like 110 million shares. The opposite of SQQ is T triple Q, which goes up three times the NASDAQ index price. And the Dow, like the minus 2x is only 1 million and the minus 3x, which has a much better volume. And these are some of the things you want to consider. So this helps you to sort of make a short list of 
where you want to put your money in and then follow them easily with any marketing charting software because they can plot the chart and see. We're going to look at some of these uh, most heavily traded uh, ETF uh, charts and get an idea as to how they are performing and how, how and what to expect. All right, so let us now start with some charts here. First of all, I'm going to go to, okay, I'm going to first start off with SQQ. As I told you, SQQ had a volume of uh, like 110 million shares uh, on Friday. Okay, this is what's happening to SQQ. As we had a bull market since March, uh, this has just, just steadily, 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 steadily gone down to the uh, ground. <laughs> Basically, it's only 14. It was down like $11 and change. And let's go down for a little shorter time frame here. And as you can see, it, no matter where you look at it, it, it's the same thing. It's, all of them look like that. The other one is the SDS. Same story. They're all been beaten down and all the indices are on the, on the floor right here, right now. And then we have SH, which is one to one S&P 500. And it is at $17. And even if it bounces back like one dollar, that's like six, seven percent. So there's a lot of uh, potential for it to go up. And it tried to make a go up here during March when the stock markets uh, and the other indices dropped. And here this was uh, back in October, September, October and November. It had a little bounce, but uh, they have come down quite considerably. Here's QID which is related to NASDAQ QQQ. Again, we have a similar picture here. All the indices are down. In fact, it is showing a little trend up. And as we know, NASDAQ is having some trouble recently. All the indices are down. That helps. Same thing with this DXD that's related to Dow. And just look at the chart and you will see this is for mid cap. Same story. All these crash ETFs are all in the bottom. So if you expect a car market crash, these are the ones you, I would say, make a list of these like it's like a bear market basket. Title it as bear market basket. Put the names of all of these and follow them on a daily basis and see how they are moving. And if the stock market is beginning to crash, these are the ones I would get in and try to salvage my losses. I hope this has been useful to you. And please, please do subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and we'll bring you a lot more informational and educational videos on how to save your million dollars in the bank when the market crashes. Thank you so much for your time.